The camouflage system is not like it used to be. The camouflage was more or less for visual threats. But today we have all kinds of sensors around the world. We are talking radars, we are talking thermal, we are talking all kinds of infrared. And of course, it's very important to be visually hided. So the camouflage today is a very, very important part of the whole operation in order to survive and also engage the enemy first. We have a full vehicle covered with camouflage and the camouflage taking care of temperature, taking care of all covering the, all the sensors. But the good thing is when you move in from, let's say, a woodland terrain operation situation, you can move on into a more arctic one by easily change your camouflage and put it in and it takes about a few minutes and of course you can do that around the vehicle so suddenly from totally green woodland into more a blended winter woodland situation customer can actually customize his camouflage system it can be gray it can be brown it can be green so it's very easy to go in from urban out to a desert situation and also into a woodland. First of all, this one is protect the troops very effectively against all kinds of sensors. Visually, this can help when you go into a certain new terrain. So that's, that's the new feature. As you all know, the Arctic environment is quite hard because we are talking temperature below 30, 40 degrees. And it's quite hard to do textile and net actually can tracking and be a good part of that environment so what we have done we have developed a total new what we call a barracuda arctic camouflage system and it's reversible so for high land up on the higher mountain you have totally white the problem is normally in snow if you have an icy snow it's more blue if it's a lot of sun it can be a little bit yellow so it's very hard to do and this one takes care of all that kind of color changing if you go lowland then you will probably see some green some gray some brown into the camouflage at the same time so it's reversible very easy to use and the thing is it's so light we are talking 300 grams per square meters normally if you understand when you have 200 square meters of net and you put it in your rucksack, it's quite heavy. But this is much better than before because then we're talking about one kilogram per square meters. Today, the operation is full spectrum operation. That means before any enemy goes into a certain area, he will use all kinds of sensors. One of the sensors are radar, very high up, and you are not able to see the radar from the, from, from the ground but the radar can easily see your vehicle. If you put camouflage on your vehicle, it will protect you against radar. No peaks on the radar screen will appear. So that's one feature. Next feature is when you have a main battle tank or an infantry fighting vehicle, you're using thermal sight. That means everything warmer than the environment will be seen in that thermal sight. This one will keep tracking the environment's temperature together with the vehicle and stay at the same temperature. So you can't see the vehicle and the hotspots. Secondly, visually is still very important because when you're in certain terrain and the scouts and a recce, enemy recce comes on, you need to be protected and actually hide yourself in the bushes. So that's the reason why you need camouflage. To the new Arctic net, here is much more difficult because now we're talking a very cold environment. So if you put a net or a textile like this, it's warm from the very beginning when you start. The thing is, if you can ventilate it and make sure you have the right amount of hole into the net, it will be cold within minutes and actually be the same temperature as the environment. So it's quite tricky going from very hot, hot to very cold, cold. But Barracuda can do that. Both personal camouflage and vehicles, tents, headquarters, containers, whatever. We can customize all kind of camouflage.